What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Honey Pop. This is, of course, another patron pick episode, so thank you so much to the patrons for selecting this game. A game that probably wouldn't make its way to my channel otherwise. However, um... Definitely seems like you guys are enjoying it, so I'm glad that those of you that are watching it are enjoying the episodes. Again, there's quite a bit of humor, the puzzle segments are really cool, the art is well done, and the music's pretty cool, and this game has a lot of character. So, it's not, um, it's not a bad game by any means. It's just definitely a, a tightrope on YouTube. And with that being said, as usual, we'll continue on with getting to know some of the other girls and meet the rest of the cast and potentially go on some more dates. But again, this will probably be the last episode of this mini patron pick series, just due to the nature of the game. Okay, cool. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow? Alright, so off to the shopping mall. This is another character. Honestly, most characters in this game have their own fan base, per se, but... Yikes. Whoa! Around like this. Yikes. You're fucking loco. This is how I always cut your nasty ass hair. Nasty ass hair? Ugh. Don't even. What Yikes. Are you talking, skank. No, bitch. My hair isn't dried out and reeking of smoke, okay? <laughs> what a way Whatever. to start the episode. Why don't you go get knocked up again? You need to turn around and walk away. What's wrong? Did I hurt your whore feelings? Turn around and walk away. Gladly. At least I won't have to look at your whore face anymore. Fuck Yikes. This bitch needs to learn. <laughs> when people just like ramble off a bunch one, of huh? curse words. Yeah, she's a feisty one. Yeah, no this kidding. We refer to as a mega bitch. Confidence <laughs> is key here. She oh, has man. to know you're in charge, and her bullshit isn't going to phase you. So whatever you do, just stay cool. They call me Stonewall <laughs> Zero move, for a reason. Please. You're kind of in my way. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I got lost in your eyes. In a minute, I'm not finished checking you out. And let you walk out of my life forever. Uh, we'll, we'll go with this. Uh, even doing at the mall anyway besides creeping on girls um i need to pick up some condoms for our date tonight just the creeping thing pretty much <laughs> i had a dream i would find my soulmate here turns out dreams can come true um <laughs> my my humor would get a kick out of uh, just the creeping thing pretty much but we'll go with the, the condoms for our date tonight <laughs> is that so well you're going to have to do a lot better than that. Sorry, but you did put in effort, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I'll tell you what, if you're lucky, maybe we can go get high sometime. You down? Every day. <laughs> I even know how to get a little stupid from time to time. Um, we'll, we'll go with that. That works for me. Name's Audrey. Get at me if you want to make things crazy. I do not, well, um... If you don't mind, could you get the fuck out of my way? <laughs> she's she's hilarious. I don't endorse 99% of her way of talking or some of the, the lifestyle habits she has. But she has a strong fan base for... A lot of times, I mean, I, I think it's like her outfit, her color scheme, and just such a strong personality, right? We've got some messages. <sighs> oh, oh man, we have three messages. All right, guys, here we, here we go. The usual, this is probably going to be okay, but if it's not, you're, you're not going to see it. OMG, my bestie took this pic in class when I wasn't looking. Uh-oh, panty shot, so embarrassing. Here's Tiff, and uh, there, there she is in, in school. And there's the panty shot. Look, it's me, I was about to board a plane for my morning shift. I forget what city this is from, Washington, maybe? There's Lola. There's a, well, that's an interesting uniform for a flight attendant, or a pilot, for that matter. Um, but, nice art. Like I said, I think the art in this game is definitely one of its selling points, which is definitely important in a game like Honey Pop. Alright, Belly, it's so nice out this morning. We should go take a walk in the park one of these days. I'd love to have company. Aw, just enjoying the, the park. Cool. 
So, what we're going to do is use some of our hard-earned money to get Audrey some cigarettes. Sweet! At least you're useful for one thing. <laughs> and we'll give her some gifts. We've got plenty of money. So let's, we can get plenty of honey from this. Wow! For once you didn't screw it up. <laughs> for once you didn't screw it up. Whatever! Don't start getting all cocky on me. We've unlocked the Dark Streaks hairstyle. What's that? Can I, can I do something about that? Oh, that's right. They, they tell you about all these things here. Um, what's the Dark Streak? Ooh, that's pretty neat, actually. It doesn't go well with her outfit, in my opinion, but I like this hairstyle probably more than the red one. Regardless, we have Sudoku, not Sudoku, not Sudoku. For those of you that say that, that is something that needs to change. That's a huge pet peeve of mine. What? Do you want to kiss or something? Dream on. Dream on. If you're gonna ask, just ask. So look at how much honey we have just from giving those gifts and, and using our money appropriately. That's probably what we should have been doing with each girl up until this point. But regardless, lame question, but what's your favorite color? You can't tell my favorite color is red. <coughs> you must be fucking blind. <laughs> fair, fair point, so, I guess. what's your opinion on going to university? It's the only way to get in this world. It's fine if you're smart or school is nothing but a waste of time and money. This is absolutely her answer. University... I've begun to feel more mixed and mixed about. I personally had a great time with university. I'm privileged to be able to go to university though. And I think when you look at a bigger picture of things and the different roles that university and having a degree plays, especially in just socioeconomic status, the ability to get jobs, etc. Um, it's almost frustrating how much you have to pay essentially to contend in a lot of job markets. And it kind of stratifies uh, you know, socioeconomic status in that regard, or perpetuates differences. Um, which is not ideal. Though there's, there are clearly a lot of benefits to university and everything. But regardless, Finally, Audrey, we'll, uh, we'll reassure so your opinions. Boring. How am I supposed to deal with that? <laughs> and now, we'll go on a date. Oh my god! Fine! <laughs> so you'll notice we have like 5,000 money, and we're getting quite a bit of money from each of our dates. We could use some of that money to get food, to continue talking to them, to okay. get, you know, an extra... So now like three to six hundred potentially of honey with each girl we've been talking to up until this point. So you can see how it's a lot more feasible to, to get more upgrades up until this point. Again, I'm not really going you know for super optimization. We've got to get up to 350 this time around. Every single time I keep saying I need a date, another date gift. Uh, <laughs> um, we'll do this first. We'll get an extra turn and some passion tokens. So that's fine by me. What does she like again? She likes flirtation and doesn't like romance. I think that's what her profile said. So we'll definitely play according to that. The next question then is, let's go with this. Hopefully, ooh, we're, we're close to getting a nice passion set up for a set of five over here. But that's the thing, I would need a passion in this upper left corner and I'm just not really seeing it. So maybe it's best to pass up on it for now. I don't know. We could get some sentiment. But I don't know if that's the best way of going about it. I think what I'll do is this, and we can double up with the passion there. It's not ideal, but it, it works for the time being. And then part of what I like about this sort of like the ability to drag pieces is I can drag this red one over here and in the making get that sentiment. Okay. Oof, again, we got another setup, but it's just not going to work really that well because it's so high up on the board. So I just don't really see it coming together. In the meantime, though, we can use this talent here. Part of what is difficult about power tokens is Obviously, when they form, they form at the moment, at the place where you place the token that you know causes the chain reaction, and then things don't fall according to how you'd anticipated. They're off by one space in that particular area, so you have to be ready for that when um, that happens. 
Now, let's see what else we want to do. Um, is there any passion? I mean, we could. I'll, I'll go with this four for flirtation. I'd like to have higher passion before doing this. Whatever. To really get the most out of the, I don't know, the combo per se. But I guess we'll take what we can get. Um, let's go with this because this way I'll be able to set up for getting an extra move on the next turn. Let's think before I do this. Is there anything else I want to drag downward? Probably not. We can bring this down this way. Help potentially line that up. It's not a whole lot of passion on the board, unfortunately. Definitely makes things a little bit more difficult, but not impossible by any means. Let's see here. a good setup I could go for. I don't see any moves that are really, you know, standing out as stellar options. I mean, I could go for, like, an easy sexuality combo up here. I could go for one of these talents, but I don't want to, I don't know, I want to use the power token for something a little bit more helpful. We'll, we'll use this for now. These broken hearts here in this top right corner are pretty scary. Now let's see, did that really change much? Arguably not really. It would be really nice to be able to set up for the talent, or the flirtation here, but I don't think that's going to be happening, unfortunately. What I can do is potentially set up a little bit over there for a four combo with the sexuality. It's obviously not her her favorite, but... And I didn't want to use the power token for that, but... Oh, wait a minute, I screwed up the, the spacing. That is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. What I can do is bring this down, and then... I can bring this over here to line up those romances as well, which again are not her favorite, but they are something. Now we're starting to get pretty close to setting up some passion combos as well. We also only have 12 moves, guys. We only have 12 moves. Which is not ideal. I want to set up for some five combos, but it's just not really coming together. If I can get a passion in this row, that would be really nice. But I don't see a lot of setups for it that don't obviously use the passion itself. Hmm. Any other interesting setups? I mean, I could do something like that for sentiment, but I'm not, I'm not really doing a lot to help me out there. I guess... Hmm... I could get an extra move by going here. That was a chance at getting some new movement in that area. But no... I've only got 11 moves to make this happen, guys. That's not very promising. Hmm. I could lower this and then set up for a four combo. So maybe now the move is to do this, to drop these, and then I can set up for a five passion combo like that. So that boosted up our passion a lot, but we only have eight moves. We only have eight moves, guys. And there's not a lot of flirtation on the screen right now. This is looking grim. <laughs> it's not like there are a lot of bells on the screen either. I'm tempted to, just for the sake of clearing things, go for like a four combo like that. 
because otherwise there just aren't a whole lot of them. Yeah, it's not it's not looking good for for our hero. <laughs> I mean, I can change some of these, but honestly, that's not even going to change a whole lot if I do that. Hmm. There aren't even that many great like four setups right now. There's so many little areas with the the romance tokens, but can't really capitalize on them. And if I were to use the sentiment thing, I don't think a whole lot would be much better. But I think I will because it's kind of a last resort where I just need more stuff to be matching. <laughs> when I just need something to, to go my way a little bit. So I'll do something like this and hopefully match a lot of stuff. But that's not going to be enough. It's really not. We need 120 more. 120! Sorry guys. Let you down. <laughs> that passion's not even gonna help, I just need it to match. For the sake of clearing tiles. Need to move something around a bit more. There's really not a whole lot. Maybe get some new tiles this way. Hmm. I can do this and clear a couple things. Hopefully, get an extra turn. So we've got two turns, <laughs> and like nothing to work with. <laughs> nothing. Um, we can do this. Which one do I want to do though? This is probably the best chance at setting up for a four. Let's go for the four. And then, oh man, this is it guys. Is not gonna work out. This is not gonna work out. This is the best I have, though. Failure. You still get money. It's obviously not well, ideal, though. That was a total blowout. Thanks for <laughs> wasting my fucking time. Of, course, of all people to fail, it's Audrey who's gonna rip us apart the most. It's whatever. I still like to try, obviously, but like I said, we haven't been playing optimally up until this point. Okay, I want to know something. How do you vent when somebody pisses you off? And I mean, realistically, it's not like there's a time limit. I'm just trying to play with like minimal date numbers, etc. Um, how do we vent? Let's see. I go home and beat up my pillows. I scream in their face about it. She's gonna love that. Right? I don't take no fucking bullshit from nobody. <laughs> Audrey, you are something. All right, so now we will head to. The fitness club. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so here we are. Time to get swole. Yo, I didn't expect to see you here today, Tiffany. Yeah, my English lit class was canceled. I'm trying to make good use of the time. Hey, listen. Thanks so much for watching Philip the other day. I know it was last minute. No, don't even mention it. I love to hang out with Billy. He's my little buddy. Aww. Did he give you any trouble? Nope, like an angel. An angel? Are you sure you were watching the right kid? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every mom talks about their kids like that. I know I still owe you two, so don't worry. I should be getting my paycheck tomorrow. Shh, I won't hear of it. I was more than happy to help out. Nonsense. I'm not taking What a no positive credit. interaction after, you know, especially the contrast <laughs> with out. the Audrey and, um, hey, well, I think her name is Kiana, this right? Over. Interaction. Man, will you get a load of these two? I'd kill to have tits like that. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. clearly out of your league, but there may be hope. 
she's probably looking for a decent guy because of that baby mama drama. So just try not. <laughs> Cause that's the only reason people for look like for decent guys. Five minutes. Oh, she's looking over this way. Showtime. Showtime, da. Hey, are you finished with that machine? I have one set left to jam out. Yep, just finished. He's all yours. I was just trying to look cool. I don't even know what this machine does. Go ahead. You look like you need it more than I do. Yikes. We'll go with this. Awesome. Thanks so much. If I seen you on TV or something, you look familiar. I don't know too many girls who work out with earrings on. Forgive me for saying this, but your body is straight banging. <laughs> um, well, we'll go with that. I think it's the most reasonable of the three Thanks, options. I try. You must be new here. I don't think we've met before, right? I like to think I know all the regulars here on a first name basis. Yeah, it's actually just you, you know New Year's resolution. So this place, I guess. <laughs> My name's Kiana. Will I be seeing you here more often? Yep, her name is indeed Kiana. This is actually my favorite character from the, the game. If I can pull myself off the couch long enough or look forward to it. Your hands are mad sweaty. I'm not complaining. Oh my god. Look forward to it. Great. I'm counting on it. She's just so positive. You know, you know optimistic. You have to uplifting. Try one of the yoga classes they do here. The instructor is awesome. That's Belly. <laughs> We've already met her. Being in a room with a bunch of sweaty girls, that is. <laughs> There's always that one guy. There's always that one guy in the yoga class. I did yoga a little bit at one point. Not like proper classes, but went on my way to do it. Let's see here. We'll buy the sweatbands. We'll buy the maracas because Honey Pop is like that. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll probably stick to those for the time being. Whoa! I've been looking everywhere for this. <laughs> I just couldn't find my maracas. I don't know what I was gonna do without them. Oh man, we'll give her the sweatbands. Seriously, awesome! I love her positivity. Do you want to say something? Yes. I'm question: What's your favorite color, or what would you say your main hobby Definitely is? Definitely working out. I never miss a day. That's impressive. That is something that has definitely fallen out of my daily routine since starting medical school, which is something I absolutely need to work on because I know now more than ever how important it is. Yeah. Um, what do you study in college? Or forgive me, I haven't even asked your last name yet. So exactly, how old are you? How old are you? Oh, yeah. That would be good to know, huh? I'm 21. She's 21. She's 21. All right. Um, again, we could use our money for some food or whatnot, but for the time being, we will go, well, actually we'll grab the cardio weights and we'll give those to her. But otherwise we can upgrade some of our traits. I think I'm gonna go with more passion upgrade. Just because in general it's a, it's a more all around booster, I guess. Now this is a guy who understands me. <laughs> well, you know, we uh, it was pretty straightforward when you said that working out was, you know, your hobby. Now what? Did we just unlock for her? The Tai Chi haircut? Okay, I can see it. We'll go back to Chica though. Um, oh, I was actually gonna go back in here. What was her preferences? Most desired trait is talent. So something I like to do is for each of, you can normally get you know 1500 honey from each interaction, especially if you're using money to get food and continue talking to people. And then once you've upgraded or once you've gotten enough honey, you just get whatever boost for whatever token they get the most out of. So I think it was talent, right? Yeah. So we'll purchase an upgrade to talent, which will help us with this specific date. The other thing, um, the sunflower, consume all joy tokens on the grid earning plus one move for every token consumed after the first two. So this is if you have more than one bells. Um, where do I bring this? Date gifts, there we go. And these things as well um, are not gonna be helpful during our dates, but can we purchase date gifts? No, we have to unlock them, I think. Okay, so we'll ask her on date. Real? Yes, just give me a second to get ready. Aw, uh, so? So just positive, right? Like, what a good attitude. So here we are at the farmer's market. Gonna get that Thanks produce. Thanks for inviting me out. Such a nice day for the market. You gotta appreciate the, the yellow apparel. Okay, so how are we gonna start this off? 
probably going to want to be going for Passion, obviously, first. I don't see too many great setup opportunities, so we'll go with that just to level up what we can for the time being. We're getting quite a few joy tokens, uh, the bells, on screen, which is pretty cool. I see some potential for a green setup. We'll go with that for now. Hmm. I'll leave some of these joy tokens on screen for the time being, just because I don't think it's too imperative that we clear them right away. I think what I'm going to do is clear those flirtation over there while setting up this four combo of the um, flirtation over here, and we just set up a four of the talent. However, I'm not going to redeem it just yet because we have four flirtation right here, and we can do this. And I think that'll give us a better chance of setting up for other passion combos, which will obviously increase the bonus we get from the talent. But I'm still not seeing too many of those combos, so I guess we might as well redeem it. Well, is that the case? Is that really true? I don't think so. Let's do... Do I want to do this and set up for a 3? Or I could do this and set up for a 4, but it's a little bit more difficult to set up. Let's let's go for it. Because then what I can do is bring this talent or this sentiment over here. Mm, didn't exactly work out as intended. That's okay though. Still quite a few joy tokens on screen, which is always nice. The other thing I can do. Hmm. I guess... I could bring this over here. And double up like that. All right. We still have a four combo here. So I'm not too worried about that. I think instead what I'd rather do is drag this joy token up here. Like this. So that it's in place to be comboed with the other ones. And then, we're getting close to a passion setup. Let's do this. We'll still have our four of the talent in the upper left corner available to us. And it'll give us a lot more of a boost when we finally do, you know, cash in on that combo. Now what though? Uh, are there any other interesting setups that have been occurring elsewhere? Um, not too much to my knowledge. Maybe it's time to cash in on it. Let's go for it. Right on. Ooh, that worked rather well. So, let's see. From here, what do we do? At this point, I could start redeeming some of the, the joy. I keep, every time I say the joy uh, tokens, I'm tempted to say joy cons. <laughs> um, I can redeem a four combo here, so let's do that. Mix things up a bit. Similarly, if I bring one of these over, I can set up for a uh, sexuality combo over here, so we can do this. It's not, you know, the most useful thing, but it's helpful for sure. And do I want to maybe get rid of one of these broken hearts? Mm, I think it's alright for now. In the meantime, I feel like I'd rather set up for a talent combo and redeem those uh, tokens. Hmm. So there are a lot of talents on screen, which is Helpful, but they're not quite in the perfect positions just yet. I think what I'll do is clear this so I can set up for a four combo in just a moment. I can do something like this, and that'll set me up for another four combo involving romance. All right. So we got quite a few points from that, which is always helpful. Rather than draw this one, I think I'll bring this over here so I can break up that sentiment there. <laughs> We've got nine turns left is honestly not not a whole lot. However, if I get enough sentiment for the sunflower, I could 
I could get three extra turns given there are five of these joy tokens on screen at the moment. There are also quite a few talent things at the moment. I want to bring one of these over. It's not exactly going to work though. I guess I could maybe clear this. No, because it's not going to drop the sexuality token over here. Hmm. Nah. Because I want to set up for the four of the sexuality. Sexuality is not that important of a attribute to her though, so maybe that's not something I should be concerning myself with a whole lot. And instead I should just be, I don't know, focusing on maybe just going for something like that. Although maybe if I were to do that, would there be a better setup to have? Probably this. Because that'll set up for a double with sentiment and sexuality. Um, however, we also have a setup now for a talent four, so let's do that before we do anything else. Wow, and that gave us quite the boost. So now I can do something like this, that'll triple that. Yeah, we should be good on that regard. If I need to, I can use the Sunflower for extra turns, and I'll get plenty of them, five at this rate. So that's good. almost got a setup for a four of the romance and I've also got five of the sexuality up here in the upper left corner but I'm not seeing too many great setups to to really you know align any of them more so than the other unfortunately so I think what might happen is I do something like this was not super fruitful, but I was somewhat hoping we'd be able to get a five of, or something over here. Uh, but that's not going to work super well. Regardless, again, we have one, two, three, four, five moves at our disposal, should I want to use the Sunflower item. So the pressure isn't as intense. Although it might be nice to just get rid of all of those tokens and see what happens with the board as a result. Get a bunch of fresh. Let's let's go for that, actually. Thanks, man. Wow, so would you look at that setup? <laughs> it would be really cool if we could get a, I don't know, I think that would be the biggest combo I've ever had. A seven combo? If I were to clear, you know, one of these horizontal rows here. But I don't think that's going to happen. So in the meantime, we might as well just, hmm, yeah, drag one of these guys up here. <laughs> We're one away. We're one away. All right, well, we'll finish it off with a talent because that's uh, that's what she appreciates the most. And obviously, the more turns you have left at the that end, the more sentiment so you have. Awesome. The higher your passion, the more money you get, so the better you play, the more you are rewarded in reality. So back to the fitness club. We finished our first date with Kiana. We've unlocked the lemon cream outfit. I guess that's what the uh, outfit we just had. So now we can go to the girl finder and we've met all of the base cast. Uh, where is she? Shopping mall, fitness club. Oh, she's already here, probably for her yoga class or something. She's at campus, she's at Turtle Bay Beach. Darn, um, nobody's where I want them to be at the moment. I guess, none of you guys actually indicated too much of a preference for any particular girl over the other. So, let's go with, um, Tiffany. Oh man, is it that time already? I should have talked to her again for more honey, but I'm not, again, not too concerned. I want to show off one particular thing. Hey, you. <laughs> hey, you. 
Uh, I want to check the girl finder real quick. Is anyone at the park? No one's at the park! <laughs> Why is no one at the park? That's unfortunate. Well, we got some messages. Let's take a look. Well, you look at this. I'm such a hot teacher. No wonder so many guys register for my classes, huh? Oh, oh boy. There's, uh, there's Aiko teaching. What's she teaching in the background? We got some... What presumably is math, but it looks like it's applied to physics. And it, honestly, yeah, we've got some... Oh, she's holding a physics book. That clarifies things quite a bit. <laughs> so, we can talk with Tiffany right now. Although, given this is probably the last person we're going to be going on a date with. Hmm. I feel like I'd rather end it off with Kiana, who's my favorite character. Catch you later. So, sorry about that, Tiff. <laughs> Obviously, this is not an efficient use of, you know, in-game time and everything. Hey! Weird. I was just thinking about you. No way! Is there anything else we want to get her? Mm, no, we could get her some food. We could get her some gifts, but... And it's not really gonna happen. Do I have any presents? No, I don't. All right. Well, we'll talk with her a little bit more. Get to know her. I've been thinking. But it's not like we're gonna like get a anything. Type of personality that you just can't stand. We're probably not gonna get enough honey to actually upgrade anything meaningful. All hipsters should be exterminated. Yikes. There's nothing more boring than a shy or nerdy girl. Um, I, I probably the the middle. But I don't know if I would say it in that manner. Oh, dude, I know. But. <laughs> One little bitch I know. She is such a bitch! <laughs> I think it's funny how they all know each other. They all talk about each other. They're all tied, you know, in some regard, right? For for what it's worth, because this probably won't come up, obviously Nikki and Audrey are friends, and Nikki, you know, is drawn, or like, brought out by them. Kiana and Belly are both at the, what's it called, uh, fitness club. And obviously Audrey and Kiana hate each other. Aiko teaches Tiffany. And Lola and Jesse are friends. Um, I think Tiffany is friends with Nikki, maybe? I don't know. But the big one that got me is Jesse is Tiffany's mom. How interesting is that, right? <laughs> so. Did you want to see Yeah, something? there's a lot of interesting inter interactions. So exactly, how old are you? We already asked that. I haven't even asked your last name yet. Or what do you study in college? I actually kind of dropped out of high school. <laughs> yeah, kids can do that. <laughs> so now... Oh, that's right, I can't even ask her on a date because we've already done that today. Okay, well, for what it's worth... I don't know, we'll, we'll visit Belly. All right, dude. Because we're already later. at the cafe, right? Again, we could ask for... What's it called? More questions, get more honey, oh. all that jazz. But for <laughs> sorry, the time being, sorry. you know, it's fine. You scared me for a second. I'm sorry, <laughs> Belly. <laughs> Heck yes, I finally got the high score on this stupid game. I can't even tell you how many quarters I've lost to this thing. What game is this? I don't know. Looks looks pretty neat though. And again, is there anyone else? She's at the park. Aiko is at the park, guys. We're gonna go to the park. Hey. Sorry, Belly. There's, there are a couple secret characters you can unlock, um, or extra characters, and that's one of the things I've been wanting to show you before, you know, ending the episode. We got a new message from Kiana. 40, I finally got to 40 push-ups in one set. Oh gee, I was sweating like a pig after the workout. Lol, next time I'm going for 50. Oh my, that's uh, a little bit more revealing than I would have anticipated. Or it's a certain perspective for picture with push-ups and all. Regardless, we'll, we'll talk with Aiko. Yes. We haven't given her any gifts or anything like that, but um, do you prefer one season over the others? I had to pick. I'd probably say autumn. I'm a sucker for all the colors. Interesting. Okay. But not interesting enough, because what we're going to do is we're going to try to discard this bag of goldfish. And it says, please do not discard outdoors, as it may attract stray cats. I don't know how to discard items, though. Oh, it's over here on the side. So we've successfully tossed the, the bag of goldfish, and now, where do we want to head to? 
Is it another day? It's morning. Yeah, so let's head back to Kiana. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. But hold up a minute! Excuse me! Did you drop these fishies here? Did you drop you these fishies? Them? Can I have them? <laughs> um, are you going to eat them? No, silly! You don't eat pets! I'll take good care of them, so can I have them? Ladies and gentlemen, meet Momo! <laughs> One of the secret characters. The, the cat girl. Uh, so can I have them? Knock yourself out. Yeah. I mean, this goldfish, I, I did win in the carnival. I wouldn't be surprised if it's belly up, you know, in a couple days. So are you like a cosplayer or something, or I don't believe we met? Um... Hi, Momo. I'm a kitty. <laughs> but, well, I don't have a master. A master? I don't like being a street kitty. It's no fun. <laughs> what is it again? It's like, Anata ga watashi no master ka. It's from, like, Fate or something. It's been a while since I've seen it. But, will you be my master? You know, I, I kind of have a thing for cat girls. Or, oh, poor thing, what? You're too adorable to be a stray. Do you think so? <laughs> Wait, I just got a idea. A idea? No, it's an idea. Yeah, sure. I'd love to take you home with me. Well, okay, how can I say no to that face? No, sorry, I'm not really a cat person. Well, okay, how can I say no to that face? All right, so. I'll be the best kitty in the whole world, I promise. Thank you, thank I you. I'm so happy to hear that for you. My own <laughs> so we'll take Momo on a date, and that will be our final date for the episode. Well, or, we'll purchase some gifts. She likes the volleyball and the flying disc, and I don't know, soccer ball, synthetic coral, all that jazz. We'll see if we get enough honey to actually. Me too much. I'm just getting you all the toys. You got a present? What's in the present? Uh, what is it? Cork wedge sandals. No tokens will be consumed as a result of a date gift being used for the remainder of the date. You'll still get the benefits, but the tokens will remain. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm curious to see, uh, what's up with Momo. She likes romance and does not like sexuality. And the Kimochi... Kimochi? Hairstyle, I think Koneko still is more fitting, which is probably why it's her default. Okay, we could talk more, but we probably have enough just for upgrading one of our traits. Uh, she said she liked romance, right? So we'll upgrade romance, and we have enough for one of the other ones. I don't know. Could upgrade flirtation, although we could just like talk and get a little bit more honey. Let's see, this random but how tall are you? Uh, what's your favorite place to hang out? I like to run around on the hiking trails. It's fun. Okay, we'll talk with you again. Is there anything I can do for you, Master? <laughs> um, so exactly how old are you? I'm only one years old. In kitty years. In kitty years? What? How, how old is that? And we're just short of 2800, which is unfortunate. I can get her a gift. We'll give her, I don't know, a rolling pin because I feel like it. Uh, no, I can't even give it to her? That for someone else. Dang. Um, can we give her food? It's super duper good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Lord, ask me a question. Okay, what's your favorite color? <laughs> That's right, cats do like shiny and sparkly things. So now, with that, we can increase our odds of doing well on this particular date because, oh, um, we can upgrade romance yet again. And now, we'll go on a date. So yeah, there's Momo, there's, there's another interesting character that you meet, and then of course at the end, there's, you know, one final Unlockable Whoa! character per se. Okay. Here we go. Um, so I see a sentiment combo right off the bat. We'll go with that just to set ourselves up. There's potentially a five combo here for passion, so we're gonna set ourselves up for that. Which will be a great way to get to level four really quickly, which is really nice. And again, she likes romance and doesn't like sexuality, I believe. We gotta set up for talent over here. We gotta set up for sexuality over here. 
Damn, we're getting quite a few combos right off the bat. Again, I'm gonna set up over here. I see the combo for Romance. Wow, um, quite a bit going on. I'm tempted to go for this Passion just to boost up the, the Romance setup. Because now we're at level 5 as opposed to level 4. So look at how much we got from that. Dang, that was a lot of points. So you can see how if I had been more meticulously paying attention to the traits that each character likes and then upgrading the relevant thing before each um, each before each before date and, you know, feeding them and talking to them, really utilizing my money. Because I'm still, I was pretty reckless with my spending with before Momo, but I still have over 2,000 money, right? And that's with a failed date, which pretty much halves the amount of money you have. Uh, you can really, you know, optimize the game quite a bit. All right, so now, now what, right? I don't see too many excellent setups. I think we'll go with this for now. Shift everything down a bit. There's a setup over here. You can do that. Sexuality is obviously not her favorite, but it's something. And. We can do this to get an extra turn. We have 11 moves right now, and we have an opportunity for a four setup of flirtation or romance. This might actually do it. We're pretty close now, guys. Just like that. So let's go with this, and we're probably just one good move away. That's crazy how much quicker this has been than some of the other dates we've gone on. I don't see any matches for romance, but this one should do it. Cool, so that was a really quick date, just a few minutes. And because we did it really quickly, we got plenty of money. Master, I'm so happy when you spend time with me. Aw, I'm happy for you too, Momo. We unlocked the, the Super Sailor outfit. What is that? Oh, I should know. It's always just whatever was on the, um, whatever was on, we, were, we went on the date with. Uh, okay, so with that being said, let's, I don't know, well, head back to Kiana at the shopping mall to end, end things off. But yeah, this, this game, overall, it's, it's a good game. The puzzle aspect is really fun. The characters are funny. Um, it, it's fun to pick a favorite oh, and get to know them a little bit. Fun Again, things. the <laughs> Potty Pop does have its its rough edges to get over, but overall it's a fun game. If you've liked what you've seen thus far, there's plenty more of that to come. And there are some really difficult challenges later on. There's an alpha mode after you beat the game, and there's some really funny <laughs> story uh, changes as things go on. So I, I would definitely recommend the game if you've liked it up until this point. But... That'll be all for now, and that'll be all probably for period, I guess, in uh, on my channel. So thank you again to the patrons for selecting this game. And if you are interested in choosing a game for patron pick, uh, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. This is the $5 and above tier. You get to vote with the other patrons on games for me to play a couple times a month and get to see me either really enjoy it or squirm as a result. And what, whichever you'd like to vote for is, you know, fine by me. But anyways, see you guys in the next episode of whatever it is of mine you decide to watch next. But until then, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>